Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I have the all new Honda Accord Hybrid behind me, which is a beautiful sedan. And I actually think that I like it better than the Toyota Crown, which is a bit of a controversial car because of the design and the fact that it's very different than what we expected from a Crown series. Whereas the Accord is more of a traditional vehicle with a more of a conservative design, which suits me just fine. But let me first uh, do a quality check and see how good the Accord is in terms of manufacturing quality compared to other cars and I'm going to give you five reasons why, for me anyway, I like this one better than the Toyota Crown. Let's go. Welcome back. So let's do a quality audit We're using my normal gauge here to see how good the body is built by Honda. This is built in the US as before versus Toyota Crown which is built in Japan. But as you follow me, I will show you that this thing is actually quite well built. So let me use my uh, gauge here to check for the overall alignment of all the panels and also um, the gap difference. And the reason why I do that is because the quality of the manufacturing for exterior panels is a good reflection of the rest of the car's quality and that's why this is very important. In terms of gap, it's only three millimeter here, but it gets a little bit wider here at four millimeter and the alignment is pretty good. Uh, just a little bit of a difference between here and here. This side is slightly higher, but well within acceptable range. It's also three millimeter here, about the same here, but a little bit wider in the back, 3.5 millimeter. And it's almost identical on the other side, by the way, which uh, I did check earlier. And between the trunk and the rear fender, it's actually three millimeter and it's almost perfect alignment. So in terms of the overall panel fit, the panel alignment and integration of all the parts, I actually think it's very good. Um, I have to have the Toyota Crown right beside this, back to back to see which one is better, but it's pretty close to the Japan made Toyota Crown. What about the paint job? Well, as I look from front to back and I'm looking for consistency of paint, I'm looking for the clear coat and also see if there's orange peel. The paint job is actually very good. It has a good gloss but there's lots of orange peel around here, which is often the case with uh, Japanese brands. It's just a preference by Japanese automakers to have a, a paint finish with a bit of an orange peel. It gives it a little bit of a character. Now, I did notice that uh, the paint job around here is a little bit dull compared to the rest of the vehicle. I gotta find out if they had to make a repair job over there because this part doesn't seem to be quite uh, normal here. Perhaps they had to make some kind of a repair, I think. Other Accords I've seen did not have that problem. So I'm gonna assume that this is something specific to this particular media car. But otherwise the paint job looks pretty good. I do admit that maybe the Toyota Crown's paint job is a little bit better than this one. But let's measure the paint thickness to see how much of a paint there is on top of the body panels. So I got my paint thickness gauge right here, which is what I normally use to measure the total amount of paint that is on top of the metal parts of the vehicle. And um, you want the, the range to be between 100 to 180 microns in thickness. You don't want it to be too thin, but you also don't want it too thick. So let's take a look. If I measure the hood here, 114. So that's pretty a standard thickness on the front fender. 108, that's also pretty standard. Let's move down here to a door. 97, so that's a little bit thinner than I would like to see. Uh, let's measure the rear fender here. 95, also a little bit thinner than what I'd like to see. Let's do a one more check on the back. 118, so that's pretty normal. So the hood, the rear, the front fenders and so forth are all pretty well normal thickness because I want it between 100 to 130. But the side panels are a little bit thinner than what I like. I definitely want it over 100, but Oftentimes these days, the car manufacturers are reducing the amount of paint to save uh, cost and time. And so they're kind of bordering around 95 to 100 in some of the newer models. Uh, but still, I was hoping they would be over 100. Okay, let's check the roof as well, just uh, as a final check. 146, so the roof is actually thankfully pretty thick, which is good because it can resist maybe some debris and scratches and so forth in case things fall on top of it. So the paint thickness is pretty well average for a Japanese vehicle, a little bit thinner than what I like on the side, but it's pretty consistent across the board. Now let's take a look at the inside to see what I think of the interior, fit and finish, and the engineering and also the design.
So now I'm inside the Honda Accord, and this is perhaps one of the things that they've done really well, whether it's a Civic or the Accord or CRV, they're all kind of following this similar theme with an interesting, uh, what we call the cheese grater design in the front uh, part of this uh, dash. And it looks beautiful, it's modern, very uh, artistic in some way. And the design of the interior, I think, is definitely better than the Toyota Crown. More on that later on. But in terms of the quality of engineering, quality of fit and finish, let me do my usual punch test here to see if anything is loose. And thankfully, everything is solid. I didn't hear any squeaks or rattles, but more importantly, the type of materials that they chose are actually quite smart. So most of the materials are very soft touch. It's all soft here, even the door, which is often hard panels these days in newer models, even within the Toyota lineup. And even here is soft touch. So very little hard plastic. And they also minimize, thankfully, the glossy black finish. You can tell it's kind of inside this center console so that there's less chance of uh, things falling into here or fingers scratching this glossy part. So they did a very smart job of that. There's also lots of glossy plastic here, but that's okay because where you touch in terms of knobs and buttons are inside this grid here. And so even if you have a longer fingernail, it wouldn't scratch this part because you're hitting this part. So that's all okay. That was all clever design and engineering. And even the steering, there's a little bit of a glossy um, plastic as well but that's well integrated behind the switches and button. Uh, so overall the design is good, the engineer is smart, and Honda does this very well, and that is the type of materials they choose, and then the texture of the materials and the plastic are really high-end, much better than most Toyota products, because lately I've noticed, even in the Crown, that the materials look a little bit cheaper than what I like to see in a high-end sedan like this. So right away when you sit inside this vehicle, it looks upscale, it looks very uh, European-like, and a very business-like, which I really like as a design. So that's my general uh, design and quality impression of the interior. Now, let me tell you five reasons why I actually like this one, the Honda Accord Hybrid, better than the Toyota Crown. The first reason why I like the Honda Accord better than the Toyota Crown is to do with the exterior design. And I know that's very personal and subjective, but I really think Honda did the right thing by making the Accord look business-like, more European and more conservative, because it, um, it's quite timeless. It looks beautiful from my perspective. It has a bit of an Audi A7 look over here with a sloping roof, but it still has a trunk. And I know that Toyota Crown tried to do a similar thing by making it look a little bit like a crossover, a bit more like a hatchback style. But for me, the Crown doesn't look right. It doesn't look like any other Crowns in the past. And just the whole design looks a little bit awkward for me. Whereas this Accord, looks really really good i know everyone has a different taste in terms of design and i know that in japan a lot of people like the new crown design but here in north america many people really cannot stand the crown design so obviously you will have your own personal opinion but for me whether you're looking at the front the back or the side profile the core looks better than the new crown the second reason why i like the core better than the crown and you'll probably agree with me on this point is that um, a cord is quite a bit cheaper than the crown now, depending on which model you pick, obviously the price has a big variation. But if you compare base model to base model, or the flagship one to the flagship one, the Accord is definitely cheaper. You might argue that the Crown is kind of a true flagship of a Toyota lineup compared to Accord, but Accord is also the flagship of the Honda brand. So for many of you guys who are looking for a full-size or near-full-size sedan, well, the Accord provides better value, content for content, feature for feature. The third advantage of the Accord versus the Crown is the rear spacing here. We have a huge legroom here, very comfortable seating. In fact, the Accord has the largest rear legroom of any sedan in this market. And you'll be extremely comfortable regardless of whether you're sitting in the, on the side seating area or the middle position. Uh, now, the Crown is actually quite roomy as well, but this one is definitely bigger than the Crown. The same theme goes to the back of the car here when you open the trunk. I got lots of stuff in here, but still lots of space because it's also one of the largest trunk space in this market. In fact, it is definitely bigger than the Crown and also very usable because the opening space is quite good and the lifting height is also quite good with lots of plastic uh, trims to protect against rubbing when you put things into trunk and the rear seats do fall down like many other sedans. So the rear trunk space, the rear seating area is definitely larger, a little bit more practical than the Toyota Crown. The fourth thing I like about the Accord is, once again, 
somewhat conservative but very practical interior design. Aside from this cheese grater thing I talked about earlier, we get lots of very practical um, design and features including very deep and large cup holders here. And believe it or not, we still get uh, column shifting for the transmission selection and lots of buttons here as well as on the steering and lots of manual controls. And the 12.3 inches infotainment system is easy to use and even has all new Google system built into it. So it kind of functions like a Google tablet in some way or Android tablet. And you can ask questions or give instructions and the Google system will respond to your word and your saying and changes everything from a temperature to the radio controls. So the whole system I think works better than in the Toyota Crown. Even though the new Crown does have a much improved new system from Toyota, I am finding that uh, Toyota system is a little bit uh, awkward after using it for a while because there's too many buttons or too many things you have to press to get to a, a particular function. Whereas I'm finding that on the cord, the Google system works seamlessly so far and the overall interior thinking is practical and very usable. So now I'm on the road with the Honda Accord Hybrid, which brings to the fifth reason why I like this car a lot, uh, and that is to do with the driving. It has a sharp handling, a good communication between the road and my hand. It has a pretty good uh, road feel uh, versus the uh, Toyota Crown, which tends to be a little bit numb in terms of the overall feel on the road. Now having said that, Toyota Crown's 2.4 liter turbocharged engine with a hybrid system works really well and it's quite peppy. Uh, but so does the Accord. This one has a 2 liter four-cylinder engine with a hybrid system that can either function in theory or parallel manners. So it is definitely a little bit uh, of a different system from uh, Crown. But what I like is the way it's just basically hunkers down the road. I can move left or right like this quickly and the steering responds uh, with a quick response. And I think that the overall feel is slightly sportier than the Crown. Uh, so I like it because I think the Honda engineers just spend a little bit more time than Toyota engineers when it comes to uh, driving feel and driving character. And right now I'm driving over some really bumpy road, but um, the stability and the control is fantastic. I think when it comes to suspension, the steering mechanism and the steering feel, uh, the Honda engineers definitely do a little bit better job than the Toyota engineers because for Toyota, the focus is always more on the comfort and smoothness and refinement and not necessarily road feel. So overall, for an engineer like myself who enjoy driving, he will appreciate the, uh, the engineer that goes behind the vehicle, the Accorda is a better car for me. You might or might not agree with me, and so I really welcome your comments, uh, but let me know if you think um, that you like the Crown better or the Accord better, and what you think of the five key points I pointed out. I hope you enjoyed my engineer's review video, and I really look forward to doing more reviews for you in the future. But for now, if you can give me a thumbs up and make some comments and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, I would truly appreciate it. But until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you very much.